Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mods Installed in House Call Fate. It's episode 51. We are in Thieves Guild. And let's see. Speak to Mercer Frey. So we're going to speak to Mercer. Ah, there you are. I've I consulted my contacts yes. regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same marking at Haunting Bermudery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Maybe we should recruit them. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullum I. Where do I begin? Golomai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. No questions. Aaron get away with this. But actually, let's go talk to him just in case. Not a no, I don't have a minute for you thieves. I can't believe Gullamai's mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong, he could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Then he'll give me trouble. Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So how do I get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. All right. If he's gonna owe us for this, he's gonna owe us for this kind of betrayal. Right. He does indeed, and with his fingers in the East Empire Company's pie, we'll make good use of that debt. If I'm not being clear enough. That means we don't want him killed. For now, just keep on his tail and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. All right. If I get information from Gullamai, what then? Just head right back to the guild and get the information to Mercer. Nothing else is more important. If you discover Gullamai is holding out on us and has more loot stashed away than he claims, We'd find that information quite valuable as well. All right. Good luck in solitude. Keep Golomai alive. But remind him who we are. Golomai. <clears throat> Actually, I really like that dungeon that you encounter partway through the East Empire. Well, on the other side of the East Empire company. It's very groovy. Oh, look at you. Where are you? Um, okay, could I jump up? Oh, it's dark. Okay. You gotta love the darkness. I certainly do. Alright, what I wanted to do here was... Let's take a look at our quest journal. Scoundrel's Folly, that's way over in Solitude. A dangerous best friend. Retrieve the Rueful Axe with Barbus. That's way over there, too. Destroy the Dark Brotherhood. <coughs> that is way over there, as well. Pieces of the past. We gotta go to Markarth for that. Message to White Run. Striking the heart. Assassinate the Silver Hand leader. Where is that one at? That is Orothheim. It's over there as well. <coughs> South of Mordor. Bring the unusual gem to Vex in the Thieves Guild. Oh, dang. Okay. We're gonna go do that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this other way. Through the railway. Six of one, a half dozen of the other, really. The 
silly me. Forgot to take that gem to Vex. I need to get that so that all of the uh, quest markers show up. Look at you two stooges still hanging out here. This will be very interesting. My friend. It's one thing to say you've got the skills. I have work if you've got the backbone. Is this unusual gem worth anything, my darling? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. Sure you won't buy it. Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Right. Yeah, well, I'm not much for being a thief, so. <clears throat> I was just engaging in a conversation on the Steam forums. Last few days, people were talking about things that they want to see out of Elder Scrolls 6, and. Well, hey. I have a lot of things on my list that I'd like to see that I feel are, are pretty practical. One of the things I'd really like to see is being able to destroy the Thieves Guild as a good player. So whatever Thieves Guild shows up, because the Thief, the Thieves Guild exists all over Tamriel and every province, and it's been a part of it has been a part of the Elder Scrolls series since Daggerfall, I think. I have very rough recollections of Daggerfall. It's been a long time since I played the game. But I would love to be able to take whatever thieves guild there is and and take them down. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. Uh, let's take a look at what else we have. Our message to our own. The Bloodstone Chalice. I gotta return all the way. That's also over in Solitude. Speak to Enther. I'm not worried about that. Travel to Broken Orgata. That's also at Solitude. Talk to the Jarl of Morthal. Um... Malborn in solitude. That's that. That's a pain in the butt. Okay, Dragonborn. I don't want to deal with that quite yet. Okay, message college apprentices. All right, and where is my magic at? Destruction. I don't think I get any more destruction spells until I hit like level 60 and I'm at 46, so I'm just stuck with what I got for a while. Um, if you look at the map, what is this? Recover the stones of Branzaya. There's one there. Recover the stones of Branzaya. That can be removed. This is report Lan Leifnar's death to his family in Hartwig. That's not important. <clears throat> Iverstead, what is this? Participating in the drinking contest with Sam. I gotta save that because that'll automatically take me over to Markarth. These are the stones. That's fine. So, really, it's up here. There's a thousand things to do up here. And then there's Markarth. Assassinate the Silver Hand leader. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to Morthal and we'll walk out that way. And then we'll go through Dragon Bridge and then we'll hop over. Dragon Bridge, if you go up this way, we'll take care of this. The vampires get Serana, come back, do all this stuff. That sounds like a good way to do it. So let's go to Morthal. In fact, I'm going to save the game here. Let's go to Morthal, my friend. Need a ride? Like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Look at those stars. That's awesome. Morthal. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Perfect, my friend. We may even uh, want to take care of that vampire situation in Morthal. Nice weather for a ride. 
Hope at last. Get us there, my friend. Me and Annika have some work to do. The Witches' Festival, 13th of Frostfall. I gotta remember where that is. <clears throat> I gotta find the closest one by. What day is it? It's the 13th of Frostfall. Awesome. Where does the book say the nearest one is? Festivals of Skyrim. Oh, um, it doesn't say here in the book, does it? It was in the map. It was in the, uh, strange... Is it the note? Nope. Treasure map, writ of ceiling, the dream stride, mysterious note. Yeah, it says right there. There's going to be one to the north. And there's going to be one to the south. And there's one in the middle of the paper there. Let's see. What does that line represent? Is that Markarth where that one is taking place? Where is that one to the north? I want to go see that. Let's look at the map. In the middle. Yeah, that can't be. The one to the north has to be up here somewhere. I like that. It's got to be up here somewhere. This is all... If we take that piece of paper to mean this bay in here... What do we think about that? That bay. It's up to the top right of the bay. So if we go... It's up here somewhere near Ustengrav and Highgate Ruins. So let's go talk to the Jarl of Morthol. Actually, let's go see. It's 2.07 a.m. Let's go talk to the girl first if she's out and about. Keep that magic away from me. Well, you know. Let's see if she's here. Dang it. It's not. Okay. Do we have enough time to talk to the Jarl of Morthol first? Visibility spare. Need something? Talk to the Jarl is what I need. I gotta wake him up. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to bother him. I don't like to bother him, but I'm gonna have to. Where is he? Is he in here? Need to leave. Need to leave? No, 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 no. I have to talk to the Jarl. Oh. Just talk. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. I yeah. hear you want someone to look into that house fire. Brogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Rogar say happen? Rogar blames his wife Rogar. for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alva. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Fantastic. Rogar's fate is in your hands. Alright. And we're one pause, people. I'm gonna see if anybody's standing up outside out here. Do you go back outside the guard? Good, because this is what I'm gonna do. Alasfer. I'm gonna get myself some blood. <laughs> right. So we're gonna go deal with this thing. That little break there. I'm so, so glad I have the power to edit my videos. Um, I have two cats. One is completely indoor cat, and the other is an indoor outdoor cat. And the indoor outdoor cat comes in for like two minutes, eats, and then wants back out. And if I forget about her, she howls. Who's there? Is that you? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Help me. My father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? No, I'm a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared. So I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. 
Will you play with me? If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing, too, and she can't come out until then. The other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. Okay, find Helgi after dark. And it's actually not the worst thing in the world. Is there is a quest though? Laid to rest. It's uh, she's right around here somewhere, isn't she? Helgi. It's like up behind the house or something. Helgi, what the heck is this? Megalay let go away. Megalay let go away. Laylet. That's close enough. Where's Laylet? Hey, who are you? <laughs> oh. No. No. <laughs> Laylet. To the end, you. Cloak. She just has a plain old burlap up. Okay, so what's going on here, Helgi? You found me! Laylot was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Laylot was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire me. She's dead. Laylot thought she could she's, take me and keep me. She's a vampire! She can't. I'm all burned up. Watch what you're doing. I'm tired. She's dead. I'm gonna sleep for a while Leolet now. is dead. What can you tell me about your wife? Leolette. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Leolette. Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? Is a vampire. But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? It's a possibility we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Can prove it to the Jarl. She's a vampire. Just have to go find her. Let's do exactly that. Where is old Alva? Where's Alva's house? It's over here. Ooh, death bell. Always grab the death bell. Make potions of slow. And eh, yeah, more death bell. Stuff. Alva's house. Was key. I can only get it off that guy I was just talking to, I think. Not gonna pickpock him, I'm just gonna go in here. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Soldier, key to Alva's house, opulent dress, red, interesting. Ooh. Soldier and vampire dust. Steal from chest. Well, I could. Is a Alva's cellar. Let's see what we can find here. Hey, look at there, Alva's dream. Of his journal to the yard. Okay. Well, in that case. Don't 
dun dun dun. It's almost morning anyway. The y'all. Well then, here's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna wait for her to wake up. <clears throat> she should be here any second. There they are, they're getting up. Good deal. The people still doubt them, don't they? No, not at all. It's just it does not surprise me. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? Huh. Didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. Planning to enslave the town. I assume you have proof. Can't go making accusations like that without proof. Really? I have Alva's journal. So it's true. The traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here. You were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Alright. Until next time. My advice to you would be to leave your people here. I got this. I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. What are you guys doing? The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I, I care about. Woman, that's all. Understand? Alright. Oh, more death bell. Well then, let's go take care of this master vampire, and then uh, maybe if we're expedient about it, what do you need? We can go catch the celebration for the 13th of Frostfall. Let's go see what we can do. Butterflies. Butterflies. Catch the butterfly. More butterflies. There you are. Oh, and there's this giant lichen. That's useful for something I just can't remember what. Offhand. Movar's lair. Movar. Wonder what's inside. Vampires, you ready? Movar's lair. Let's make a little save here. Where are the vampires? Hey, there's a spider down there. Lots of spiders, it seems. Where's the other one? There it is. I got you. Frostbite, but you're the bigger variety, aren't you? Like that. <laughs> Vampires have a weakness to fire. Yes, yeah, someone is here. Where are you? You're down there in that direction. Okay. <clears throat> Go for his predator vision. It's kind of a tough life for you, isn't it? <clears throat>
Well, well, well. Nord need. What do we have here? Oh. Eagles. They just grab all their boots, their clothes. Oh, but there's a fat thing of extreme magic in there. Where's everybody else? Through here, me? What's this? Nord me? I'll take that. Let's go. Hey, look. Okay, here, here's where it's gonna get you. Here's what I'm gonna do. Potion of destruction, 148% stronger. They're throwing shock at me. Alright, hold on. A potion of conjuration. Vagabond Dusk Armor. Wow, that's a nice looking stuff. A thousand. Look how, look how great that is. Very expensive. Where's my lady? She's right there. There's a bunch of M-Stool in here. Let's go loot everybody. Oh, look. He's got like the fall. Oh, he's got an iPad. Golden earring, sea dog armor. He's a clothes. All right. Oh, so we killed a bunch of people in here. No, he wasn't the only one to go down. There's one right there, vampire thrall. That destruction, baby. Thanks. 
What do you got? Oh, how's that feel? Empire. There's a book we haven't read. Sun's Dawn Illusion Increased. Oh, nice. There's a little bit more to this dungeon, but I'm not going to worry about it. We did the important part. Killed. Actually, let's go find it. There's a, there's a big fat chest back here somewhere. Isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's this way. We might as well get the loot while we're here. There's a few more ding dongs to take care of too. Potions. The Dajara. An ebony sword. Yeah. Hunting ball of ice. Scroll of wizard ring. Steel plate. Nail of alteration. Yes, we'll take these things and sell them. Finance our lifestyle. This year, Arrow, there's a giant orcish. Okay, wow. Awesome. Likewise, good stuff here. There's a naked Khajiit. stuff is also lightweight and very nice. And we'll come out down here. Hot diggity dog. And do it like that. Slayer. Mother's calling me. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. Bye, Helgi. Good old Helgi. All right. Let's go north. I want to go find this. It's uh, 13th of Frostfall event. What's going on over here? Somewhere. What's. What's. It's trying to attack me. Oh, a giant. Troll, troll in the dungeon. Oh, there's a little water line there. Let's, and there's one right there. I don't know how those happen, actually. This is, my understanding was that a realistic water too would fix that, but apparently not. Somewhere up here. There's the cabin. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe hard to see. Where is it? It's the boat. Where are we on the map? It said it was going to be to the right of this, so we're probably pointed in the right direction. It's up in this. Just somewhere, I guess. Rolling sprint. What? Nah! Nah. 
So there's Highgate Ruins up here. Yikes. Let's get some elevation and see. Might not actually be in the swamp, it might be somewhere else. There's a old burned down house there. There it is! There it is. There's the event. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I have to say that. And right when a blizzard comes up, too. Thirteenth of Frostfall. How cool is this little event? That is awesome. Oh, look. There's an effigy being burned. So let's let's look that back up again. Festivals of Skyrim. Thirteenth of Frostfall. It's Witch's Festival, Thirteenth Frostfall, when the forces of sorcery and religion clash. Demonologists, conjurers, Lamia's warlocks, thought merchants meet in the wilderness outside of a city, and the creatures Created or summoned there may plague Tamriel for eons. Most wise men choose not to water this one. This is fun. Look at these guys. This is cool. Need something? No, it's alright. You guys are having a good time. That's all I wanted to see. The last time I saw one of those 13th of Frostfall festivals, a, a dragon attacked me. So. <laughs> We're going to head, oh yeah, back to Morthal. Stormcloak camp there. Where is Morthal from here? It is in this exact direction. I know fast travel is disabled. I just want to put my marker somewhere so I can get there. Yeah, those little things like that. So this is something I really like later on after the war. This is a Stormcloak camp. These guys are all tense. Um, but I have a mod installed called... Oh, what's the name of that mod? Civil War Aftermath is the name of the mod. And what it allows you to do is wipe out those camps and burn them down to the ground. Which is really awesome because in the default game, after you've defeated after the civil war is over and the one side has won and the other side has lost the losing camps are still out there and you can't get rid of them and they always have a a commander that can't be killed because he's been marked as essential for the game so it's kind of uh it's kind of sucky <laughs> and so civil war aftermath unmarks those guys as essential and it allows you to take flames like a torch. It allows you to take like torch or flame magic and go and uh, burn down all the tents and everything. And so that all that's left after a few minutes is uh, is the burn charred remains of the camp. And then later on, if you go back there, uh, there'll be nothing. So it is by far one of my favorite mods. Oh look at this, there's a Canis root and a Swamp Fungal Pod all in one location. Wow. We're gonna go over here to Morthal and speak with the Jarl. 
get over here. Jesus. Oh, here we go. Here are the houses. We are only be happy to hear of our success. Well, what do you got for me? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. A friend of Let's yours. Go. I love these letter from a friends. They send you to dungeons that you haven't been to yet to get um, thumes that you don't have yet. Baroda caused quite a bit of stir in Winstead Manor when you demonstrated the power of your thumb. Not everyone is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim needs a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Skyborn Altar. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Yeah, so that it's... The Radiant AI for the game, as far as quests go, is actually pretty cool. You run in front. Please don't mind Yorick. He's not bad. Really, he's not. And it's nice because different quests take you to different dungeons. Some of them are the same, of course, you know. The stuff of the Bard's College is always the same, pretty much. Etc, etc. But some of them are different. And so, to get you to the dungeons that you wouldn't normally go to because there are no quests being tied to them, you get the letter from a friend. It's very nicely done. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic, if one is willing to look for it. The master you vampire Movarth is dead. By the eight, I didn't think he could do it. Oh come on. It's me. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Anything else you need, my yarl? There is room in my court for a new thing. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home. You help my people, and I'll make you my thing. To be Good luck. an honor. Right. Help the I'll people like of Hjelmar. Alright. My vampire blood complains about the sunlight. Well, at least I don't sparkle like a diamond. This way. Our next location will be to the south. There are always creatures here on this roadside. Big pain in the butt. He's gonna go after him good. There goes the thief. You're coming back for me, you're gonna you're not gonna like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. I like how they get distracted by something and then they don't try to take my money. That was something I was talking about in that thread on Steam for things I'd like to see in Elder Scrolls 6. We're gonna cut down through this stream, through Dead Man's Rest, but um, when it comes to Elder Scrolls 6, I would very much like to see the NPCs of the world react better to you as you grow in your heroism. Uh, for instance, one of the things that kind of annoys me about Skyrim is you become the Dragonborn, you become the Archmage of the College of Winterhold, your reputation should start to precede you, and as you go through the city gates, the guard's like, Hands to yourself, sneak thief. You know what? I'm the flippin' dragonborn, man. You should be like, oh, there's the dragon killer. You know, it'd be neat to hear the guards talk amongst themselves. I saw him kill a dragon so-and-so, such-and-such a day. Oh, let's do this. Uh, Kind's Peace. Leave your, leave your bareness to somewhere else. 
Talzgar the Wanderer. But anyway, I would really like to see NPCs really adapt their their words to uh, what you're doing. And especially thieves and people alongside the road. Like, it's one thing if a if an assassin or a thief comes up to you. Okay. We're gonna have to fight a jack. Okay, well, that's not gonna go well. Is it? Let's go minor healing. Let's go resist fire. Let's go... What else do we want to do? Restore health. Do we have any of these small restore health potions? Generate health. Okay, guys. Let's take care of this punk. Dragon. He's an elder dragon. Ooh. That means it's just gonna be that much harder. I'm gonna go this way. Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna go this way because I want to. Uh, if the if the bandits are back in there. Bandit camp over here. I want them to take some of this. Here we go. That's what I was hoping for. Yep, that's what I wanted. I wanted to get them involved. Let the dragon take those jerk offs out. Okay. Uh, we have. Flamethrower. Someone say flame astronaut. Permanent. Outside the gates here. But, oh, that's great. There's a mud crab, really? Okay, hold on. It's time for this potion of fortified destruction. He's on the ground. I gotta, gotta do this. Diving right at us, huh? Punk. Well, I got my potion of fortified destruction up. Oh, he's going after the mud crab. He's angry at everything. I hate it when they do that, when they fly away up there like that. I don't know what the game is doing when it does that, but... Two and I'm gonna get him. Hello. Hello, Dragonski. Nothing after all. Nothing after all. Well, that's kind of a fun way to get to the end of this episode.
Let's grab all of that loot. Hot diggity dog. Man. I like being able to kill dragons now. Okay, where is this place that we're very close to? It's to the left. It's to the east. It's to the east and Juliet. Whatever that line is. I, 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 I admit to not having delved into much Shakespeare. That is my own shortcoming. Eat me after I've already kind of pieced you. Silly little Muppet. Let's see what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Let's go do this. Whirlwind sprint. Right over there, it appears to be. Give me my shout back. <laughs> and that is from the mod called The Ruins, right there. I like those. I like his little additions, or his or her, whoever created the mod. I like their little additions to the game. Very much so. Uh, where is this place? Up here. Well, this is gotta be a Orothion. Alright, what are we going in here? We're going in here to kill the Silver Hand Leader. Alright, we're gonna save that for next episode then. This is a. Uh, this has been a fascinating time, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel. If you have a question or comment, drop it down below. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all my viewers. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Skyrim. Special Edition Legendary Difficulty.